Hi, this is Kelly DeCesaro and I'm here at the Star Limber Showcase home benefiting the Wichita Children's Home. We have done a lot of work on this house already, but today I just wanted to go through and show you room by room what we got going on, give you a little tour of the exterior, show you what we've got done there, and just all the improvements that we've been making. <music> get going so isn't she beautiful all right here's the exterior we have done siding on this um, this used to be kind of a wavy board siding at the top there we've replaced that with a James Hardy stucco trim um, to give it a little bit of that Tudor Revival style flair um, we've taken the railing off it is actually right here we're going to give that a new powder coat and put that back up and keep that with the home. Have the front door propped open with that beautiful arch top storm door, which we will be keeping as well. And that is matching the exterior door as well. In the foyer, we have been scraping wallpaper. We had a couple of layers on there, made some progress. Um, the tile floor there, Got the closet off to the side with the stained glass windows and right in through the other side of the entry, we have the restroom. Um, still got some work to do on it. But again, that other beautiful stained glass window. So as you walk up the stairs, um, we have some more wallpaper to peel. Uh, this is gonna require some ladder action. So one of the reasons that it has been Kind of put off a little bit, but we'll get to that soon. So we have the upstairs restroom and we have taken all the wallpaper off that, taken out that little corner cabinet, all the wallpaper gone, and again, those beautiful bathroom fixtures. As you walk out here, we go into the master bedroom. We pulled off all the doors, all the trim, getting ready for that. This is the um, balcony. So from the master bedroom, you'll have that whole view, the balcony. And the cool thing about this room is that there are gonna be windows on three sides of this. So the light coming into this room is just gonna be great. So there is where the old wall was separating the two rooms. And this is going to be a walk-in closet. Unheard of in a hundred year old house. Very exciting. So this is the old closet of the bedroom and probably turn this into a little shoe nook or some sort of storage area there. So as you walk through here, this is gonna take you to the master bathroom. Again, we pulled off those trims, got the new window in. We're gonna redo the shower. And we are going to close off this door to the other bedroom so that it'll be an ensuite bathroom. Taking off the wallpaper there. And so you'll walk back out of the bathroom here back out through the master bedroom. And there is the door to the attic. Got some lovely built-ins here that we will retrim out as well. So here you have what we are calling John's room because when the door was here, it had a little knocker from the previous owners that said John, and we put it back up because we just love it so much and we call it John's room. So again, we pulled the trim off in here, but this is going to be a second bedroom. And the walls have kind of a unique feature. They are curved in along all the exteriors. We've taken down that picture rail. Looks like there's some wallpaper under there. So then as you go through here, this is an, another bedroom or it could be an office. Again, great light, great view from the windows. 
and this one has two closets. We have some people working today, as always. As you walk through this, you step down very carefully into another bedroom. This is actually above the entertainment room downstairs, and it's got that really unique ceiling. Get a full view there. It's got the fireplace with that cute little built-in above it. And the closet in this room is large. And we have a tiny bathroom here, but a bathroom nonetheless off of the bedroom. So again, working on wallpaper on that. And there's our little safe picture. Got the crane outside, or the... So then as you go down the back staircase, uh, more wallpaper that needs to be removed. We've pulled off the first layer, which came off really easily, and the second layer is gonna have to be removed as well. We'll do some repairs to the plaster. So back staircase leads either into the den or outside to the driveway or into the kitchen. Kitchen has been a major project for us. We have taken it down to the studs. We've removed the last lath and plaster. We've got Decker Electric in the house working on getting our electric up to code, making sure that we've got some of that beautiful under cabinet light. Got that bay window going in. Got our inspiration boards up here, our design and dining room. So taking out that wall, there'll be um, wainscoting up on that in the dining room as well. So this is what our kitchen looks like right now. It is almost ready to start putting it back together. So kitchen, dining room, and then this walks back into the living room. So there's a staircase front door and then our living room. So you walk down a few steps into that. And again, windows on three sides of this. Got our film equipment, couple of chairs. You guys are getting the good, the bad, and the ugly here. That really cool built in right there as well. And then you have the den. We did find out that this was previously used as a music room and there was a piano in it. So that was kind of fun to get to know from the previous homeowners. As you walk up here, have the bookcase that leads down to the basement. And then through the den, there's this back staircase again. Down here, an exterior door that goes out to a little covered patio area, and then walking into, there's the basement stairs as well. So really great storage down there in the basement. And then this is the entertainment room. Uh, if you can't tell, this is kind of used as our headquarters right now. We just took all of those windows out. Um, I'm trying to keep decide what to do with those. We've got the paneling going on. That's the ceiling and the bar. Uh, our refrigerator so we can keep our drinks in it for the guys that are working and fireplace we have replaced the giant picture window that used to be here with two windows and i'll show you the exterior of that in a little bit and then this leads out to a patio that's our lead scott man working his phone and this will be a screened in patio room as well. And then that leads out to your two car garage. And then walking through here and the backyard. Next I'll show you the exterior. Okay, on the exterior, we have a brick front. We're gonna replace some of those brown posts on the porch with cedar. Got some nice little landscaping going on. This is cleaned up a bit, but the doors above the, or by the balcony will be replaced soon. 
We're trying to get everything we can done with the lift while we still have it. Trinity was kind enough to donate a lift for a few weeks. So we have done shake shingle up here to add some texture to the house and then lap on the main walls. And then there's some shake around on some other gables, but that just gives the house some texture, um, keeps that classic feel of the Tudor revival. <laughs> we have Mid-America Exteriors crew on site today. They are helping us out with the siding. They've been really fun to work with. So, Ooh. lift. There's some more of that shake shingle and that really, really tall wall. Beautiful black vinyl Windsor windows. Hard at work. Oh yeah. Hi. Hi. So gonna finish up that shake shingle there. Got another of the chimneys there. And then this is the outside of that covered patio. More siding going on here. Our dumpster. And here's where we start working with the Tyvek. So we have that side of the house wrapped. And coming along here. And if you guys remember where those two bottom windows were, there was a giant picture window. So we took that down to two windows, aligned them with the top, um, kind of break up that giant wall of siding windows there. So two car garage, this leads into the patio room. And then this was the room earlier that if you walk in, it leads either to the basement, to the entertainment room, or you can walk into the kitchen and den area. Scott and Brian hard at work. Hi, Scott and Brian. And then brick exterior here, we'll have the limestone cleaned up. Put some new chimney caps on there. Kind of interesting, there's one round and one square. Again, beautiful mature trees all over it. And then we're back to the porch. So as you can tell, we've done a ton of work on this. We still have some ways to go. Uh, still have to remove some more of that wallpaper. I do a little bit more demolition inside, but we are definitely getting there. The exterior looks great. It's gonna be a huge improvement. So please continue to follow us. Thank you for watching. You can follow us at starlumber.com, Instagram, or Facebook. Let's Star guide you through the entire project.